David Silva made quite a name for himself in boxing circles within the last year. Somebody who may be ready to try and step up to better competition. Ken Lafusa, a veteran, a spoiler, somebody who can make his opponents look bad. And here's David Tua coming in with the left hook to the body. Matusa going back now, trying to tie David Tua up. Nice uppercut by Tua. Matusa answering with a left hook of his own. Ken Matusa can wear you out and make you look bad when things are going his way. He'll be trying to get David Tua out of position. David Tua loading up on his punches so far in this fight. Close to the head, nice right hand by Tua, and a leaping left hook misses, and Lapusa acknowledges his defensive work to the crowd with a little right hand motion, sort of a matador bull type reaction by Ken Lapusa. Seems like he's trying to indicate that he can frustrate David Tua and make him miss. Lapusa will try to preserve his energy, move on angle, punch from the side and try to get David Tua working against himself. That's the classic scenario of the older fighter against the younger one. And you saw that David Tua is just 21, but with a world of potential. He's matched up in this fight because his handlers want to see him against somebody who will stand there, who won't go down from the first shot, will pose some opposition and extend him make him grow throughout this fight. As round one goes in the book, and not a bad one for the veteran Ken Lacusa. And there was two landing a jab in the early round. 
driving the coos to back. Going for the body here, the leaping left hook, that made it just behind the ear. The coos is sporting from that. More left hooks by two are there, and the coos rolls with it. We start the second round. David Tua of New Zealand in the blue truck. Ken Lacusa of Canada in the white. And Tua put some good pressure on Lacusa in round number one. Lacusa looking for countering opportunities. You see Lacusa trying to use the rope, then charging David Tua, trying to throw Tua's momentum off. Tua missing with some of his left hooks now, and Lacusa trying to counter on the inside. What he's trying to do here is make Tua miss with his left hook, then come inside and land the right uppercut as a counter, hoping that Tua will walk right into it. Lacusa continues in that countering mode as Tua tries to score with his left hook. Jabs by Tua, but he's a little short. Loading up here. Now goes downstairs, and Lacus is trying to smother Tua. This will be a good strategy for him if he can pull it off. Tua charging, but Lacus is comfortable backing up here, and shows you why. Good right uppercut by Lacus, and then he is smart enough to tie Tua up. Tua really hasn't seen a resilient opponent like this. Somebody with as many wins as Lacusa, with as many tricks. So Lacusa trying to establish himself outside after he got a few things going on the inside. Lacusa takes a low blow, but it's not called on David Tua. Lacusa will try to throw many different angles at Tua who has been looking for the big shot and coming up just a little bit short. Power punchers love it when they can get that big shot in, but sometimes they can fall in love with that one punch. Now Tua again misses wildly with the left hook, and Lacusta was cornered so he could not get the right uppercut in. There he does. From a territorial standpoint, a very good round for Ken Lacusa. Able to tie David Tua up and wage the fight on his terms as round two comes to a close. Good action here by Ken Lacusa. Lacusa fought pretty well in the second round. He took a shot there, but there's a nice two-punch combination. Good left hook. Gets an elbow in there and then ties David Tua up. And we start the third round. The second round for Ken Lacusa in the white front. As he established himself on the inside, what he's trying to do is frustrate David Tua who heard it between rounds from his corner about loading up. And they are right. Tua wants to shorten up, get his jab moving, and work his way inside, rather than lunge his way inside, because if he works his way inside, then Lacusa cannot tie him up as easily. Lacusa, the veteran, is going to take what's given to him here. And if Tua keeps coming forward, you'll see Lacusa going side to side and moving but he must be wary of that left hook of David Tua. Tua shortening the distance, now goes to the body, and jabs his way there. Lacusa not offering as much here, waiting on Tua's goal. Tua has gotten his side without paying a price, now lands a nice left hook, and a good two-punch combination by Tua. Lacusa took that one flush. 
Now you see Sewer at least showing a bit of a jab as he goes in. So he's getting in position without paying too much of a price. Now he goes to the body. Good punching left hook by Sewer. Matusha coming forward, but not punching as much now as he was earlier. Sewer goes downstairs and just misses over the top with the right hand. And he is starting to zero in on Lacusta. That's a good right hand by Tua. That one did not miss. Now Lacusta starting to punch back with fatigue showing on Lacusta. Lacusta goes low. Good right by Tua. It's been a nice pivotal turnaround third round here by Tua as he has heeded the instructions of his corner and a good left hook by Tua. Lacusta is tired here. Good right uppercut by Tua. Left hook by Tua. Now Tua is pretty much getting this the way he wants. Good left hook over the top, and Lacusta is too stationary. Suddenly, David Tua looks very confident in what he's doing, and the jab has shortened up. And he's landing the kind of punches he could not get in earlier. Left hook to the body by Tua. And we may see a permanent turnaround in this fight based on this very good third round by David Tua. There's Tua coming forward. Those with a tremendous left hook. That's what he could not get in earlier, but he was able to land in round three. Now watch as he jabs his way closer. He's in good position here. He jabs, just feeling his way, then he loads up with a tremendous right hand. That's good adaptation to the corner by David Tua. They said jab, and he did it in round three. A good right uppercut, and everything came his way. And we start the fourth round, and Ken Matusha in the white went through a war in round three. Tua with a nice left hook. And Ken Lacusta, not as game as he was earlier, not as eager to take his chances to mix it up, and you see why. Nice left hook by Tua, and that one rocked Ken Lacusta. Nice uppercut by Tua. He's finding that spot just behind the ear of Lacusta. Tua with a nice left again. He tries again with the left hook. Lacusta tried the counter, could not. Nice left hand by Lacusta, but Tua is a left hook to the body. Nice right. Just over the top. And now, big left hook and a right hand by Tua. He's putting on a show. There's a long way in the ground for Lacusta. He can take punches. Here comes Lacusta. He's down. Takes two punches because Rothenberg is not there. Ken Lacusa had to go down on his knee to try and weather the storm of David Tua. He has been through a torrent, and that is it. Good call by the referee as he looks in the eyes of Ken Lacusa and knows when enough is enough. David Tua with an explosion. Changes the course of the fight. And when he starts off with his left hook, he does not let opponents get away. And Ken Lacusta was simply taking too much. As a left hook behind the head by two, and now that one lands in a scoring area just behind the ear. Lacusta grimacing as you get the good close-up shot. His right elbow up did not prevent the shot from coming in, and he pointed, so there's nowhere for Lacusta to go, but down. Two tremendous shots to the head. Third in almost the same spot. Lacusta's going through a whirlwind here, and he says, why should I take any more of this? Now, Tua is not on him, but he goes down. Boxing version of a fair catch, but he did not get fair catch protection because the referee was just a little shy 